Aquarius, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are doing lovely. This is going to be a reading for early November, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome into the overall energy that you're going to be dealing with here. In the beginning of the month, what's going on in your love life? I'm going to look at the overall energies and then I'm going to look into your specific energies as well as the energies of whomever it is that you are dealing with. Let's get two more shuffles and then I'm going to turn on the AC because it's starting to heat up in here. What's going on with the overall energies here that the Koreans are dealing with? All right, let's see. Ooh, three of Swords, the Judgment, and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, ladies and gents, it looks like somebody here is walking away from something quite tumultuous. I feel like you find yourself in a pivotal position here in the beginning of October, or November rather. When it comes to making a decision, this is gonna be a hard decision to make, all right? I see you having a difficult time with it, to say the least, Aquarius, and it completely revolves around a heartbreak, all right? I'm not sure whether you're actually walking away from a relationship or whether you're walking away from what's impeding you, the heartbreak, to reconcile. We're gonna see, we're gonna see where this goes. All right, nevertheless, there's a heartbreak that's being moved on from. What's beyond that, we shall see in a moment. What's going on here with the Three of Swords? Why is it Three of Swords here for Aquarius? Why is it Three of Swords here? The lovers, well, this was most certainly a very passionate relationship. This could have, have been quite significant, to say the least, very significant. Not only to you, but to the person that you were connecting with. This could have moved towards commitment, could have been a long-term commitment, or this could have been it could have been cultivating towards a long-term commitment, all right? I wonder if it got off the wall or if I got... Nevertheless, they got abandoned. That's what I'm seeing. That shit hit, turned into a fucking disenchantment, a major disappointment, and that's where you see yourself now. Having to be patient, mending, trying to get your... Trying to gather your thoughts. Wounded is what I'm seeing here, yet confused, ungrounded when it comes to this. Tell me more. Ah... <sighs> Four of, four of coins, I feel that this situation has compelled you to close off emotionally. All right, close off emotionally. Your heart space is not open to this. You are emotionally invulnerable when it comes to this situation. Or maybe this was in the past. It's gonna be different for all of you. Take it as it resonates. Tell me more. Five of cups, absolute disappointment. Looking at this situation as a loss. I mean, there's just see a lot of tumultuous energy. There was a heartbreak. In a very significant relationship, you close your heart and you're looking at this with an element of grievance, of sadness, of depression. And I mean, I get the sense that hope was lost, all right? Or at least the feeling of hopelessness was felt. What's going on here with the judgment? Why is the judgment here? The Ten of Swords. Well, I get the sense that this is a reawakening, all right? This is not to say that it's easy, ladies and gents. You had a realization, all right? You might have changed your perspective when it came to a, a situation. And with the Ten of Swords, I feel that the ending, the difficult ending is now coming to closure. All right, you're reawakening. There's this sense of the Phoenix rising up from its ashes. The Knight of Swords. Okay, this is communication coming forward here. Whether you're coming forward and communicating or someone's coming towards you, Aquarius, tell me more. The magician, someone is wanting to make something happen. What is it that they're trying to cultivate? What is it that this individual is wanting to make happen? The seven of swords and the eight of coins. All right, I'm getting the sense that there's been, there, someone has been neglecting putting effort into a relationship and that is what's changing. This could be you, you might have been neglecting the relationship and now you're switching that around or this could be the person you're dealing with, all right? What's going on here with the eight of cups? The Nine of Cups, interesting. Eight of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Hierophants. Tell me more. The Five of the five of Wands. So somebody here is wanting to walk away from whatever obstacles the relationship is faced with because they're wanting happiness. Furthermore, they're wanting to elevate the relationship towards a higher level of connection, a higher level of commitment. They're wanting to surmount the conflict. All right, Three of Cups. They're wanting a union, a reunion, a reconciliation. All right, so we got the gist of what we are looking at, Aquarius. Let's take a look at your energy and see where you stand. And then we're gonna be looking at the person that you're dealing with. What is Aquarius' energy toward whomever it is that they are dealing with? What is Aquarius' energy toward whomever it is? Let's get three more. What is Aquarius' energy towards whomever it is that they 
are dealing with. Whoops. Sorry, ladies and gents. Technical difficulty. I need to give this one last shuffle. Aquarius is energy. All right, let's see. Page of coins, three of cups, and the tower. All right, so what I'm saying here, Aquarius, is <clears throat> damn. Your world has been rocked, all right? I feel like you are giving into this situation. But mm, what's going on here with the tower? This may be a major shift in that attitude, in that paradigm. Tell me about this. Help me understand what Aquarius is doing. The star card healing. So you're telling me that Aquarius is wanting to reconcile and heal the situation. Is that what you're telling me? The five of cups. So I do see you an element of potential. You have not entirely given up on the situation, the lovers. You have not entirely given up on the situation, ladies and gents. You're still very fond of whomever it is that you're dealing with, even though you could be grieving, even though you could be looking at the situation with an, a, a lens of pessimism, negative, all right? A negative perspective. You're still wanting to work on the situation, the page of coins, okay? This could be you or the person you're dealing with, the devil. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, however, um, Tell me about this. This is someone here wanting to put effort in this toxic situation. Ace of Cups, wanting to have a new beginning. All right, all right. What about the Three of Cups? The Three of Cups is a card of reconciling, coming together and seeing eye to eye, simply a celebratory energy, joy. Queen of Wands, you could be feeling confident, you could be feeling uh, a sense of charisma, your, your, a sense of vitalization, all right? I feel that this being given a second chance, you're getting aroused with excitement, with enthusiasm, to persevere, to transform this situation. All right, there's a major shift happening here. I feel that you were quite immersed in defeat, but Five of Wands, clarifying the Five of Swords. <clears throat> so what, there's still a lack, of con a lack of seeing eye to eye with these two people, or what, what's going on here? The Knight of Coins, yeah, you guys are not seeing eye to eye, but there is movement towards progress, towards turning that around. So I see reconciliation, or at least an attempt for reconciliation when it comes to the energy that I pick up from you. What's going on with Aquarius' person? What's going on with Aquarius' person? Let's get two more shuffles. What is going on with Aquarius' person? And what energy are they projecting towards Aquarius? Nine of Wands, we got the Four of Cups, the Two of Coins, and the Full Energy. So this individual most certainly experienced a lack of contentment, all right? They were quite disillusioned, disenchanted, but I thought they stood their ground and really, really, I mean, they were, just, they were in a state of confusion, but this person never left, despite the fallout that you guys had, all right? I feel that this individual is wanting to come forward and communicate, page of coins. You could be dealing with that page of coins that I picked up here in just, just a moment ago, the lovers. This individual wants to work on the relationship. Most certainly, I feel that this person sees you in good light. They see you as a potential partner. They see you as someone stable, grounded, someone here that they can have a partnership with. Queen of Pentacles, all right? Uh, this is someone that wants to invest in towards, uh, or want to invest, Page of Coins, I mean the Knight of Coins and the Ace of Coins. Wanting to, wanting to invest into something long-term with you, all right? But this, what is this individual juggling? I feel that there is an element of them going back and forth within themselves. There's still obstacles here that this individual must overcome and surmount, which they are in the midst of transforming, all right? I feel that the relinquishment of these impediments will get them closer to you, all right? That's why we see the Fool next, the Wheel of Fortune. This individual most certainly is inclined towards prosperity, towards growth of the situation. So even though they don't have it figured out, deep down, Knight of Cups, this individual is aligned with prosperity, with having a new beginning, with having a turn of events with you, even though they may not know how to go about it, even though they may be having their hands in other situations that, again, are impeding the prosperity of the relationship. Tell me about the Fool energy. Why is the Fool here? The High Priestess, okay. And why the High Priestess? Why is this here? The Hierophant. Well, this individual could have been hiding the fact that they want to have a deep and long lasting connection with you. And they can be coming forward, Ace of Coins, or rather Ace of Wands, taking action to initiate this, to bring change, and basically taking initiative to make this happen. 
Done deal. Ten of coins at the bottom of the deck. I told you, this individual here wants something long term with you. This individual wants something committal. And I feel that in the beginning of October, the Empress, this person is taking slow and progressive steps towards growing and expanding. Cultivating the opportunity for unity between you guys. Between you and them. Fascinating reading. I love how synchronized it was. I'm taking this to the extended, ladies and gents, where I'm going to continue to dive into whomever it is that you're dealing with. All right? I'm going to deconstruct their feelings to you. I'm going to deconstruct their desires with you, which I feel is simply going to be a confirmation of this love which I'm picking up. I'm going to look into their actions towards you in the beginning of October, and I'm going to look into this, in the, or rather November, and then I'm going to look into the future trajectory of where this is going. If you're interested, the, ex the link to the extender will be in the description. Otherwise, Aquarius, know that you're headed towards uh, an attempt of reconciliation. Okay, with somebody here that seems quite adamant about being with you, Knight of Cups. I feel that you're on the receiving end of this situation. All right, there's a lot of proactive energy, a lot of movement, a lot of initiation, that Ace of Wands, action coming from whomever it is that you're dealing with. This is what I got. I'll see you guys next time.